What's going on boys and girls? It is Shane here and we are at event number three at 6-4, June 4th. And we are here at FedEx Field and we're gonna do another course walk today. So um, today we got the loud old carts over there, Mr. West, Mr. West. So um, entrance is actually here in the middle portion. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and pull on in. Pull on up to the line, and then what we're going to start doing is that we're going to scan what's going on. So we can see that there is a left hander that we're going to have to take, and then that's going to a right hand sweeper. So I'm actually checking all this out before I walk just to try and get a game plan as far as where I want to go. So since we're starting out with this left, we're going to go ahead and situate the car over here on the right side so that way we can make this uh, a nice acceleration zone. Keep in mind that that's actually falling off. So we're gonna have to anticipate some understeer on the sweeper. So as we're going ahead, we're gonna come in here and the lights are gonna trip right there, but I'm actually going to try and cut this distance, hug this guy as I'm revving it up. Now I don't want to attack that cone straight ahead. I wanna actually stay over on the left side. So I'm gonna go ahead and stay over here. And then as I'm driving towards it, uh, I'm actually trying to scan out where I got to go. So uh, where I got to go is actually over there. And then I got to fit in this area here. So as I come over, I'm going to add a little distance and I'm going to start cutting off some distance here a bit and start trying to charge up the hill. So because it's going to fall off, I already know that I'm going to use it to my advantage by getting close up to this guy. And the carts are so freaking obnoxious with their revving. <laughs> that is crazy. So as we're coming around here, I know that I have to cut some distance. I'm going to get tied on this cone here so that way I can uh, backside and squeeze through that uh, gap. Uh, from here, we're going to just scan for a second. So as I'm trying to get close to this guy, I'm trying to figure out, hey, is there a big gap between this cone and that cone? Uh, can I carry the speed or not? Since after this cone, you have to start going uphill to the left as a sweeper, going into a slalom, I'm actually going to try and give up some speed in here to set up and backside this cone. So if I can backside this cone, my payoff is actually going to be at the sweeper. So I'm going to give it up a little bit on the hill climb. Just, just a breather, nothing crazy. Get the car composed and since we're going to be sweeping up the hill. So you can kind of fit in here, but the biggest thing is that because of this slalom, I want to try and backside that guy right there. So as I'm climbing up the hill, as I'm climbing up the hill, I'm going to go ahead and just eye this guy. Now this is a little offset in our favor, this cone is. So we're going to try and fit in here. The reason why I'm trying to point and try to hit that cone is because it's not necessarily as important, but positioning, I don't have to backside it per se because it's in our favor, but I'm trying to get a good position. I'm going to be carrying a speed that the car is going to understeer, but that's a nice just landmark for me. So as we're going through here, this is kind of really just a lane change instead of a true slalom. But coming out of here, we're going to be scanning up to the hill on the right here and we're gonna try and see what's coming coming next. So we know we gotta to stay to the left of that, but the next cone, we have to dig down into the right and it's another slalom. So yeah, I'm not looking that far ahead when I'm driving, but just when I'm walking the course trying to set up. So as we're coming right here, you'll notice that it is sloped. So you're gonna think initially, oh, I can carry a lot of speed. Um, which you can, and you'll kind of play it by ear depending on the angles. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna cut distance because I don't really see the benefit of climbing up here too much. So I'm gonna cut some distance and then I'm going to start looking at where I gotta go. So I gotta fit through that gap because of these uh, slaloms or really offsets. So I'm gonna angle my way through here, see what's good, add a little distance right here because since it's banked, it should help me and I'm gonna start cutting in. So using the understeer, I'm gonna try point at the cone right here, point the car at the cone, accelerating through, knowing that the car is gonna understeer a bit. Right here to me is gonna be a little bit of throttle control because as you're coming back to the left to go through the slalom, 
the car is going to get upset because it's falling off. So just a, not a lift, but a feather, a, a little, little off of the throttle, just a bit. So that way you can get the car in nice and balanced. If you do a strong lift, the car is going to actually get down here because you're loading up too much. The rear is going to be too, too light because of that off camber. So just trying to fit through here. Nothing really technical as you can see. It isn't a true slalom. Uh, as far as a straight slalom, it's an offset in your favor slalom. So you're just trying to fit through this guy. But what's coming up next? So we see a uh, ginormous wall. Then that's my cone to actually start my turn. And then I'm trying to figure out where I'm going from there. So from there, I have this left hander, but there's a, a significant gap. But there is a cone wall that's going to pinch me from making my turn from there and over to getting to this cone. So as I fit through, I'm going to eye my corner. I'm going to come over and set this up a bit just to make this a little soft depending on my speed. If I'm, if I'm diving in here, then I'm not going to try and set up too much. I'm just going to go in here, do my braking, scan ahead, brake in here, scan ahead as far as where I got to go. And this is going to dictate how much distance I'm going to add from here because I want to make this a nice arc. It's banked. It's nice and fast. So I can carry some speed in here because the next element isn't pinching you that much. So as you come around here, you want to try and get on the back side of this cone because if you do that, you actually have more straight line. If I'm over here on the left because I try to carry too much speed, I'm actually not going to sacrifice it here. I'm going to sacrifice it for this left bend. So keep that in mind. All right, so we want to be positioned over here on throttle so we can get it early. So some sacrifice right behind me so I can be on the throttle nice and early. And then look how much you got going here. And then what I'm going to try and do is hug that inside cone for right now to cut distance. Yeah, I can drive out to the wall, but if I'm going to just start turning in on this left wall, then I know the car is going to understand and push me out and put me where I want to be for the next left hander, which is our showcase. So our showcase has the entry there. And then we have a cone up there where we have to get to. So from right here, I'm going to get, hug on this cone and it's gonna make me add some distance and there isn't too much of a payoff here because the next cone up top is actually pinching me in. It's not a nice, you know, swoop on the outside. So I'm just gonna cut distance, stay tight in here. It's gonna fall off. So under your, your braking, just try to aim towards this cone a bit. As soon as I get right here, I'm actually gonna start rolling on the throttle. So get the car rotated a bit because it's going to be fall off, so I, want, I, I don't want to floor it. I just want to start rolling on the, the gas to help the car turn because it's going to understeer. And then right here, just a nice steady hand, steady arc all the way through. I have a nice gap between here and there to recover. I just got to make sure that I fit in there um, as it's another lane change coming up. So I'm tightening here and then I can floor it as soon as I come out of here. And look at that, that's nice and smooth. If I try to carry too much speed and I end up over here, then I'm just adding distance. There's no need for that. You may think, oh yeah, I'm gonna carry a lot of speed to a certain degree, but you don't wanna add too much distance because actually cutting the distance um, and being a little slower ends up being the same, but you're in better position and the car is in more control uh, if you cut distance and then accelerate out in certain situations. So in here, it's just a lane change, but remember, the car is going to unload and load as you're going through here because it's slightly banked. So in here, just from looking at it, it looks like you can actually floor it through here uh, with no issues. Backside your cones on, on here, and you're just trying to fit through. It doesn't look like it's anything that crazy. Should be in here on um, wide open throttle on the limiter through here, nice high speed left hander. So I'm looking ahead as I'm coming through here to see what my angle is. Notice that I'm walking away from this cone because I want to go up the hill a bit because this is a nice left hand sweeper coming up. But I have to be outside this wall. Don't get all committed and get all lip and tight because then you're going to cut down a lot of speed. Get out here 
and then sweep this entire thing. It won't be full throttle because you're now making about a 45 degree turn. So you're just gonna have a little breather in here just to get the car composed or before, but then you should be back on the throttle and ride it all the way out to the wall. Or not all to the wall, but out to here. Because what we wanna do is backside this and you can see it's a slalom, offset slalom. So we do wanna go out, not to the wall because that's a little too far offline, but we wanna ride this out so our angle can backside this triple. Reason why we're back on this triple, you may, may be saying, why, why so? Why not just fit into the gap here? The reason why I'm backsiding this cone here is for proper setup. I'm not gonna backside it perfectly, but if I do, my setup, not for just this cone, but the next cone is really key because it's an acceleration zone. But if I'm late on the first cone that I just pointed out behind us, then you have to, have to be backside on this one to get a nice acceleration zone. So as we're coming through here, notice the elevation changes and it's slightly slanted and there's a bump right here, a little, little itty bitty crest so the car is gonna get unsettled. So if I backside at least that second cone, I'm already doing my turning and I'm accelerating through here with the, with the steering wheel straight. If I'm full throttle right here, there's some little bumps and uh, yeah, it's just gonna throw off the car. So do all your turning done beforehand and accelerate through. All this is nice and just stay tight to the right. There's a little speed checkup right here, a little offset making you uh, go to the left. So I'm gonna try and hug this, carve around this slightly actually, so that way I can get some positioning over here on the right. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to, depending on grip levels, I'm gonna actually start giving it up here and let the car coast partial throttle around this cone. Because when the car is at partial throttle, it's actually pretty darn neutral, but you can still drive the rear when needed. And you can wrap around this guy. Even if you add some distance, you're still okay, but I don't want to be all the way out here as far as when it comes to speed because then that, that right-hander is gonna be, not right-hander, but that offset is gonna be real crucial. So give it up just a little bit on that cone behind us. So that way you can start ro rolling on the gas and be floored right here. It's gonna get a little edgy. You gotta trust the car on this offset. So right here, the car is gonna get a little sideways because you're gonna be at the max of uh, adhesion. Right here, I'm gonna try and just aim in a little bit on this cone. I'm gonna actually go a little sideways and it's fine because the next element is uh, pretty tight uh, as far as this left hander. So as I'm approaching this, some people may try and add distance. I, th I think that's useless. Just come in here, straighten out the car uh, and make this as uh, perpendicular as possible and then start charging down the hill. So I'm gonna be braking here so it's nice and controlled. There's bumps right here that I'm keeping in mind because so, it's gonna cause me to go into ABS. So I'm braking nice and smooth early, looking ahead, and I know I got a pinch in right there. So I'm not gonna add any distance because I got a pinch in. I'm gonna stay nice and tight, and then looking ahead to that next cone as far as how I need to rotate this cone right here. So I'm gonna keep it tight. Front end is gonna be loaded, so it'll be easy to get a nice little throttle oversteer right here, rotate around this cone and all this is about positioning. You're not trying to track out. If you track out all the way down here, you can see that it's a right hand going down the hill. So that's just gonna throw me off. I mean, that's just gonna be horrible. It's all about the position. Position yourself out of that left hand sweeper so you're more up on the hill to make the downhill at this cone. That's your pivot, pivotal cone. If you screw that up, you're at least losing half a second to a second on this downhill, easy. Because if you go in too shallow, not where we are, but if you're down the hill, you will just see, see how this is gonna go. So if I'm up here, this is easy. If I'm all the way over here, because I try to carry speed on that left, look at that. That's a horrible angle. So we wanna stay over here on the left hand side. There's some bumps here, carve this around, and then stay disciplined 
and uh, feel out the traction of the car as you're coming down the hill. Remember, the front end is going to be loaded, rear end is going to want to come around a bit, which isn't a problem because we want to pivot around these cones anyway. So just trust the front end of the car. Uh, if you're understeering, that means next time you have to take this uh, corner a little bit slower on setup. Always stay aggressive, but as the more aggressive that you stay, you have to do everything earlier and set up a lot more proper. Okay, so this is all the acceleration zone all the way down to the hill. So that's it, boys. Pretty, uh, pretty nice course, actually. It's going to have some good speed. Um, right now, I'm testing out the Nexons on uh, Danny's, Danny Cow's uh, car uh, here at the WDCR event. So thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe like that would be a big thanks and uh catch you guys next time but thanks to the sponsors with uh agile automotive along with apex junkie and uh yeah i'll catch you guys next time check out the film should be entertaining